What's up guys and welcome to another episode of career mode. This is episode number 89 uh, Now the last two videos were not in HD now. I didn't mention that because I didn't realize at the time uh, I've had some problems rendering footage, but this should be back to HD now So if this video is not HD, please let me know um, Because otherwise the next few videos won't be HD I'm having some real troubles with uh, rendering and exporting and all this technical mumbo-jumbo uh, For some reason it's all going wrong and I'm I'm trying to fix it but uh, it's it's hard work at the moment but uh, it should be fine in uh, in time but um, yeah the last couple of videos were not hasty sorry about that they were unclaimed so I wasn't claiming money on them because I didn't feel like I deserved it because they were not hasty but um, hopefully this is back at HD I'm sure it is and uh, you enjoy this series back to normal but uh, we start this episode off against Southampton at Anfield now this was the game uh, during the last season which actually cost us the title really uh, when we lost 2-1 at home we sort of just completely blew our chance of winning title last season and it was all this man's fault it was my Yukru scored twice late on for Southampton last uh, last season that basically stopped us from winning the title um, so you know when he scored here and won a penalty here I was thinking my word I just cannot stop this guy he is too good uh, Kurt Zuma bringing him down my Yuka from the spot to make it 2-1 to Southampton was he gonna do it again against David the hair well he sends him the wrong way but hits the post so not this time my Yuka you are not gonna score twice and make sure that we would not get a win but uh, in the 65th minute, it was all Southampton in this game. In the 65th minute, uh, we gave, uh, we got the ball back from uh, Southampton, who were playing really well in this game. Gareth Bale skips past Nathaniel Klein here, down the left-hand side, advances for on goal, and it's a bit of a sweaty goal. To be honest, like I said, it was all Southampton, and um, at the end of the day, I just didn't want to risk it, and uh, I thought I'd just uh, play it across to Cavani for a simple finish. And uh, here, Morgan Schneiderlin gives the ball away. Eunice Belonda plays a great free ball into Cavani to make it 3-1 to Liverpool. The game was sealed at this stage, and um, it looked like we weren't going to repeat the uh, the poor game against Southampton we had in the last season. But uh, Carroll comes on for Gareth Bale here. And uh, here you see Nathaniel Klein playing it to Schneidlin. Jose Fonte loses out to Cavani, who plays for Andy Carroll. Not the quickest of strikers, but somehow he managed to get past Yoshida. And this finish is like a pass underneath the goalkeeper. Absolutely lovely. And uh, that made it 4-1 at this stage. And that was how the game Finished. So 4 1 to Liverpool, a uh, hat trick for Cavani, one for Carroll off the bench, and there is no repeat of what happened last season when we basically blew the title chance in this game. But uh, here you see a monthly scouting update from Ben Dunn, our English scout. Um, you know, again, it's it's one of those mixed reports, really. I seem to get mixed reports all the time now. Some players look really good. Billy Daniels, he looks like a very good player, but then, you know, you see ones that are like 32 to 48 on the overall. So, you know, some look okay, some look pretty poor, and, you know, some look just average, really. It's it's interesting scouting, really. I think I've done really well with scouting this year, but um, to be honest, it's it's still one of those hit and miss things. And when I've got really good scouts, I, 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 I'm quite surprised to see how many poor players I get. You know, it's, it's like, um, I wouldn't say it's a needle in the haystack kind of thing. Oh, no, that's not the right expression. A diamond in the rough, that's more like it, um, you know, in terms of players. But it's still kind of hard to pick out there's some really good players. Um, you know, one of the players in my youth academy looks insane. I think his name is Philippe Marcano or something like that, my uh, Paraguay central midfielder. He looks insane, but he's like the only sort of world-class player that could be developed. You know, the sort of the, the Lionel messi -esque kind of player. But um, anyway, we'll have to wait and see. Um, there's still a lot of time left in this career mode, so we could still sign some uh, very good youth players. We just got to uh, keep the faith, and hopefully we'll, we'll uncover the next Lionel Messi in the next few years. But uh, in this game against Spartak Moscow in the Champions League, uh, we've been doing very well in the Champions League, of course, in this group stage, which has been a really, really poor group, to be honest. No disrespect to Spartak Moscow, FC Twente, or Sporting CP, but I fully um, you know, expect to win all our games, really. But uh, Moscow did level here with m &EK. That was so unfortunate for David Harry, who made a great save, and Casemiro, who did manage to clear the ball off the line but uh, with 25 minutes to go uh, they came through once again this was is it Gatagov on the left wing I'm not sure but uh, anyway the ball eventually gets played out wide to him once again the cross comes in here towards Emanike it's headed away but Casemiro oh you know he's, he's been out of the team since the sign of Jack Wilshere but um he's He's just not showing the kind of form he had last year when he was unstoppable at the DM. He's, he's been a real, 
a little bit poor this year, but uh, I'm sure he'll step up in time. But uh, it looked like we're going to take the first loss of the group stage here to Spartak Moscow here at Anfield. But Gareth Bale, old reliable once again, the Welsh wing wizard smashing the ball uh, past the goalkeeper at the near post. 2-2 the final score. De Gea made some uh, decent saves in this game. And um, not a bad result. Obviously, Spartak Moscow a good side. We do rest most of our players in the, uh, the group stage of the Champions League. So, um, pretty decent. Not that great, but pretty decent. But... Um, here is uh, another scouting update, this time from Korea. Uh, once again, a couple of decent players like this guy, and then some really poor players like these guys. So it is a shame to see uh, some some really poor players coming in because you know it's it's just so hard to sort of you know just just find the the real best players. You know, especially when it's only been one month on them, and obviously if you if you leave it too long, as you can see on quite a few of them, they they end up going to different clubs. It's kind of hard to. Um, it's like a game of gambling, really. You know, it's like um, a game of gambling. What? It's like gambling, really. You know, sometimes you just have to roll the dice and take the 20,000 sign non fee. I mean, you know, it's not a, a lot of money, of course, not to a, a Premier League side like Liverpool, you know, 20,000 pounds, but even so, it's, it's not money you want to throw away um, on every single player. But um, sometimes you just got to gamble and hope they'll turn out okay. Sometimes they turn pretty well, sometimes they don't. You just got to wait and see. But uh, here was the game against Wolves here at Molyneux, and uh, it's a really, really scrappy goal, but a superb strike by, I think it's Lay Griffiths, uh, past David the Hair. We should have cleared that bought he had a 75th time of asking but uh, this was Kurt Zoom with a hilarious goal if you uh, didn't see that properly in the first time there is a replay uh, Belanda swings the corner in and um, for some reason I powered up for a powerful header by Kurt Zuma and for some reason he just stood still and uh, hit him bang in the face and uh, went past Wayne Hennessy and go I don't know why he didn't jump even so I went in and uh, that's all I care about but uh, this was David De Gea once again doing really well uh, in goal great kick out to Bale Bale finds Cavani, this is so nice. I love counter attacks with Liverpool. They're so good. Uh, Cavani, not the the rapid, not a rapid striker, but uh, still came through one one. Wayne Hennessy did well to deny him, but there was Gareth Bale to make it two one. Bale is so amazing on this game, and uh, in real life he is just unstoppable right now. But uh, yeah, two one to Liverpool. But uh, here was Wolves win the ball back here. Doombia finds Sacco. Sacco plays the ball out wide to Jamie O'Hara, the former Spurs midfielder. Plays the ball into Danny Graham. His first shot is well saved, but the rebounded head goes in by the former Swansea forward to make it 2-2 at this stage. It looked as though Wolves were going to snatch a point here at Molyneux against us, but I brought on Mario Balotelli and Wilfred Zaha from the bench in the hope that we could uh, sort of, you know, just inject some pace and win the game. But Maxime Gonelon, once again, he's such an amazing defensive midfielder. He finds Belonda. It's a great free ball by Eunice Belonda. Through to Mario Balotelli. And the Italian is just as composed as you get. Brilliant finish by Balotelli. It's 3-2 to Liverpool. At this stage, I was thinking we're definitely going to take the win here. But in the 90th minute, everyone fall for the corner. Sacco swings it in. And David De Gea once again saves our bacon. The game finishes 3-2. As always, guys, a big thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you for the next episode very soon.